This is the first home that either of us have ever owned. It's cool. I mean, just to have your own place, our own house where we can, we can grow into. And so this is definitely a, a big step in our life. I might not be on the up and up with the latest football news, but even I know about NFL star Patrick Mahomes' mega deal. Say hello to the sports world's first $500 million man. The famous quarterback has already made a pretty penny playing for the Kansas City Chiefs and now he's there to stay for a while. Although he's only 24 with that kind of salary, you know he already owns a gorgeous house, so we'll be looking at where Patrick calls home. We even found the listings. Patrick LeVon Mahomes II is a football quarterback for the Kansas City Chiefs of the NFL and son of famous baseball player Pat Mahomes. After playing college football, he entered the 2017 NFL Draft selected by the Chiefs and the rest was history. Patrick proved his worth leading the team to their first Super Bowl appearance in 50 years where they defeated San Francisco for their first victory since 1970, so it's not surprising he was named MVP. What shocked everyone though is that the star quarterback just signed the richest contract in sports history after agreeing to a 10-year extension with the Kansas City Chiefs. When coupled with the final two years of his current contract, Patrick got himself a deal worth over half a billion dollars. The 117-page mega contract includes a $10 million signing bonus, a $49.4 million bonus due in 2026, and $25 million bucks in incentives if Patrick wins the NFL's MVP award again and reaches the Super Bowl. All things considered, the most recent estimate of his net worth is at about $40 million, so you know the man has a nice house. Hey guys, it's Kara and today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We're going to take a look at record-breaking NFL star Patrick Mahomes and where he calls home, like his new house in Kansas City, his penthouse, and even where he grew up. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours and likes of Steph Curry and Tom Brady and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat and like I always say, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. In the early 90s, when Patrick was still a baby, his father Patrick Mahomes Sr. was playing professional baseball. Around the same time, in 1997, this is when his parents purchased a home in Tyler, Texas. The family would live in this home for the next eight years, so it's where Patrick spent basically his entire childhood. Tyler is a large city in Texas and fairly close to White House, where Patrick ended up going to high school later on. Built in 1993, the home sat on 1.6 acres of land and was large and elegant. Although the photos are somewhat outdated by now, it appears it was a single level family home, and outside had a gorgeous lawn complete with a fountain and garden. Inside, Patrick's childhood home spans 3,500 square feet, so it was quite spacious. The home was decorated with a cozy vibe and had a living room with brick fireplace, kitchen with marble countertops and wooden cabinets, as well as a games room. The master suite had a jacuzzi and the attached bath, and outside offered features like a gazebo, large swimming pool, and hot tub. All things considered, it looked like a beautiful family home to grow up in. The Mahomes sold the home in 2005 after Patrick Jr.'s parents divorced. However, Randy, Patrick Jr.'s mom, bought another home in Tyler where they would live up until early 2014 when he graduated high school. Prior to Patrick's gorgeous house in Kansas City he lives in now, reports online say the NFL star was previously living in a penthouse unit located in the Bellevue Plaza. Although it's said that Patrick was selling this place for around 485k last year, it's more likely he was just renting this spot, considering he said himself the current home is his first property purchase ever. Either way, let's take a look at the apartment. With only 9 units in the entire building, the Bellevue Plaza offers luxury living and accommodations, even a coveted rooftop deck with views of Kansas City. Located in the heart of the city, the building was only a stone's throw away from Arrowhead Stadium, which I'm sure made trips to work and practice convenient for Patrick. His previous penthouse unit measured at a relatively modest 1,800 square feet, but had six full rooms apparently with two beds and 2.5 baths. It was also described as the nicest condo in the building considering it's the only one with a rooftop deck and two car parking. Inside, Patrick's previous condo was decked out in modern fixings including new hardwood floors and fresh paint throughout. The kitchen included granite countertops, stainless steel appliances, top of the line cabinets and built-ins. The spacious living area was open plan, offering high ceilings, a fireplace, and a wet bar for entertaining, as well as glass doors leading to a balcony. The master suite had a fireplace, gorgeous floor to ceiling windows, and blackout blinds for when you want to sleep in. Not to mention the attached bath was fitted in marble with a huge tub and vanities. 
There were large California walk-in closets in both master and guest bedrooms, but even these didn't cut it for Patrick's mega shoe collection, which we'll be checking out soon. He made sure his new home in Kansas City had an entire room for his kicks. Just last year in 2019, Patrick was celebrating another milestone, but this time in his personal life. He and his longtime girlfriend, Brittany Matthews, purchased their first home ever for a price tag of just over $1.9 million. With the insane deal that the NFL star just made for $500 million, it makes the price of his home look like peanuts, but the couple doesn't seem like they'll be moving anytime soon. Chief fans were hoping that this Kansas City home purchase signified a long stay on the team for Patrick, and turns out they were more than right. The couple was over renting places and wanted somewhere to call their own. Patrick explained, Renting a house wasn't for us. We wanted our own place, just being able to nail stuff into the wall and not have to get like sticky tabs. Like you can do whatever you want with the home. Patrick's gorgeous home is located in the heart of Kansas City in a private upscale community beside the Mission Hills Country Club. It's described as a remarkable contemporary ranch on a state-sized grounds according to the listing and the lot spans about 1.4 acres. The house was built back in 1953 and has the clean lines and connection to nature that many of the best homes from that era are known for. Although they kept a lot of the original features of the home, Patrick and Brittany renovated much of the place to fit their tastes. However, most of this was left to Brittany's selections with the help of interior designer Marcy Knopf. I picked out um, everything. everything. <laughs> However, Patrick did pick one piece of art, but Brittany is definitely not a fan. We'll look at it soon. If you're wondering, this adorable couple started dating after meeting at White House High School back in the day. Like her quarterback boyfriend, Brittany is a professional athlete as well, who also launched her own personal training business. The pair both agreed they'd like to stay in Kansas City for 20 years plus, which is why they carefully selected their current home and wanted to put their personal touches on the place. Their home spans over 3,700 square feet of living space with three beds and four baths. In terms of redesigning the place, the couple chose a lot of dark woods, fireplaces, white walls, and gray furniture accents to give the home a relaxed and comfortable vibe. Sounds like the perfect contrast for a dude who spends work days evading 300 pound rushers trying to stop him from making a touchdown. There's a versatile floor plan in the house with expansive rooms, tall ceilings, and ample windows. There are multiple living areas, most with fireplaces and glass doors to the yard outside. Both the large formal dining room and the kitchen offer floor to ceiling windows, and the chef's kitchen has eaten bar seating, stainless steel appliances, and opens up to the family room. Other highlights include a full bar in one of the common rooms, an office, and a wine cellar. Patrick's sprawling master suite is approximately 1250 square feet and is made up of a large bedroom, walk-in closet with built-ins, laundry room, spacious ensuite bathroom, and an attached home fitness center. The couple also loves their Google Nest, which reads out Patrick's daily schedule for him and controls the lighting, music, and home security system. Besides, they can also watch the dogs. The couple's home sits on a terrace lawn with a swimming pool, a new hot tub, large patios, rose garden, and extended extensive landscaping. There's also a gorgeous screen porch or sunroom overlooking the backyard. With a yard like that outside, there's plenty of space for Patrick's dogs to play. Like I mentioned, Brittany and the designer Marcy got the go-ahead from Patrick to choose mostly everything in the home, except for this. Patrick must have some eclectic taste in art because this piece hanging over the fireplace was the only thing he insisted on having. Mahomes said, I basically got one thing and it was like a baby with like tattoos that we have hanging up over the family room. While he described it, you can tell Brittany isn't the biggest fan, but who could blame her? To be fair, the canvas costs less than a hundred bucks. Everywhere else in the house is completely Marcy and Brittany, and then I have my shoe room that I literally wanted my whole entire life, so that, that was big with me. One other design request Patrick had for the home was a proper place to display his impressive sneaker collection. Enter the shoe room. He stated, I literally wanted this, a shoe room, my whole life, so this is big for me. When the couple did their home tour, we got a look at Patrick's expansive space with lighted display shelves highlighting all his beloved kicks and racks for his sunglasses. There's even a security camera. Patrick's collection made up of 180 pairs includes several styles from Adidas, his sponsor since 2017, and even the pair he wore during his first photo shoot. He also has a Game of Thrones inspired pair called the Night's Watch Ultra Boost, considering that's his fave show. But his fave pair of shoes is his Yeezy Boost 750 Triple Blacks, 
telling Bleacher Report, these are my babies. They're big, but at the same time, you can wear them with anything. So now we've taken a look at where Patrick Mahomes, the now half a billion dollar NFL star, calls home like his first and current home in Kansas City, his previous penthouse, and more. With money like he's making now, his $1.9 million home looks like a bargain in comparison, but he and his girlfriend Brittany seem to be more than comfortable in their new digs. After looking at the couple's starter home, what did you think? Or what did you like best? I loved the way they redecorated the place and I gotta say my favorite spot on the home was the sunroom. I would love to work from home in there, it just looks so peaceful. Anyways, be sure to let me know what you liked or didn't like about Patrick's homes in those comments down below, as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!